Gasamida Om Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I would like to talk about don't fall for this or you will give everything away. Literally everything. Whoo, what a big title. Yes, you will virtually give everything away. And today I'd like to talk about transhumanism. Transhumanism is all about merging human beings with machines. We're already well into the process of that. If you really open your eyes, realize real lies with Tao eyes, really look at, open your eyes and see the world as it is. And you walk down high streets, you go everywhere. Everybody's hooked on their phones. Everybody's hooked on their phones. Not everybody, most people on their phones on their phones so they're well on the way to getting that technology in your body they can put it on your body now and actually they've got um, technology where they can put it on your skin put something on your skin and your your the energy of your body will actually charge that piece of technology on your skin we've already got microchips people are using microchips in supermarkets already to pay for things um, they're already microchipping some people in, in, in parts of the world so that they can get into work. It's, it's, it's coming very slowly, very, very slowly coming, very, very slowly coming. And really the, the, the main players in this are Ray Kurzweil. If you go and listen to him being interviewed and you will see, hopefully, if you open your eyes up and really, really think about it, that the man is really not understanding what it is to be human or really not recognizing, I should say, what it is to be human. So you're merging yourself with a machine is really losing your uh, humanity completely. So you'll be losing your abilities as a human being because you're being taken outside of yourself. Even though it's going into your body, you're, you're relying on a technology for you to be a complete human being. What if that technology fails and you have to go to somebody else to get it repaired? Or if the technology yeah, just stops working and, it, and it's keeping you alive, what are you going to do then? Nobody's really discussing this. They, 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 I, I did find years ago when I really, really did deeply research into this, they were creating avatars. You had a, a bronze avatar, silver avatar and a gold avatar and you spent so many thousands of dollars is in america american site where you can reserve your avatar so when they get your consciousness they want to transfer your consciousness from your body into the avatar so that you can live forever <laughs> this is like something out of a james bond movie for goodness sake but it's in our world it's in our world they're trying to make us better well you, you can't with all the money in the world, all the technology in the world, you watching this video cannot be recreated. You are a one-off amazing creation. And never, ever, ever let anybody take that away from you because you are. Nobody ever can re recreate you. you. You are one-off, unique. And the way that the body works with all the information that comes in through your DNA, from your parents, and the information coming in from your life force or your soul or spirit, what some people call it, is unique. It's unique. All that information merging together is you and it's unique and it's for you as a human being to sort through and work that out and then you'll find yourself moving into more enlightened space in your life. But if you start to merge with machines, like if you let technology rule your life rather than use technology as a tool, Technology is amazing in this day and age. It's allowing me to create this video and share information with you. It's incredible. And the world has become closer and closer together. And that's a, that's a really, really good thing. But the globalization and the homogenizing of everything is all wrong, which is what transhumanism will do. It will take away your uniqueness and you will become literally a cyborg. No, 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 no. <laughs> so what do I mean by human beings uh, not reaching their full potential? 
really it's, it's, it's the journey inside, it's the hermetic principles, one of the hermetic principles as, as within so without, probably got that wrong, um, and so it's the peace inside of you, if you can find that peace inside of you, you can find that health and peace inside of you, that health and peace will project out into your world and you create your world like that. If you're angry and bitter, you, you'll get that anger and bitterness come back at you. So it's really down to you to find that. But I have found videos on YouTube and, and, and do your research. Don't overtake my word for anything. Do your research and look this up. There's Yogi who was, he went, this guy went over to, I think it was Indonesia and he, he met this healing Yogi and he, he could make it, parts of his body warm up. So you couldn't touch it, it was so hot. And he healed this guy. He had a problem and he healed it. He had a, he had a chronic disease and this guy healed it with his hands. So he, he went back with his cameraman friend and they filmed this yogi and they showed him getting parts of his body hot and his friend couldn't believe it when, when they were touching his body. And then they were out for dinner and he got this pencil and he just pushed this pencil through the table and then pulled it out the other side. And then they, they went outside, he scrambled a, he, he crumpled a bit of war, uh, paper up and then with his hands, he got so much heat coming through his hands, he set the paper alight. My goodness me, that's how much energy you can produce with your body. And then his master actually contacted him and said, what are you doing? I saw your thing on YouTube, you, you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Boy. And then the, the, the guy just disappeared because they, they're giving away these yogi tricks that what actually human beings can do. I remember seeing a yogi from India being buried for three months and then being uh, in, the, in a box way under the earth, no food, no water, nothing in there, three months. And then they dug him up and he just brushed his clothes off and walked away. And I thought, well, that's it. That's it, really. It, it, once that goes viral, as they say in today's world, once that goes viral, people will realize what we can actually do with our bodies. Our bodies are just vehicles. And actually incredible vehicles and it's here our bodies are just here to experience this five sense material world and we're not appreciating that at the moment we want more 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 give me more give me more give me more no you, you sit there and go walk into a park and appreciate everything that's going on around you appreciate it look at it with gratitude because you're having this experience to actually start to try and put things into your body is madness <laughs> complete madness and we need to start to use technology, but not be used by it or taken over by it. So I've also seen in China, there's that famous clip where this uh, lady's got a cyst in her body and these healing hands come, about four or five of them healing hands. And in real time, real time, you see the cyst shrink and then disappear. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. So really what you want to do is try and find it within yourself. Discover your talents, what you can do, what you can make your life into. You could be, you never know, you could be an amazing healer. You could be an amazing musician, even if you think you can't sing. Try picking up an instrument or banging a drum or try painting, creating something, fixing something even writing something, anything that you create. Keep creating. This world wants you to be a consumer. Consume, 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 consume. And then finally you explode into uh, nothingness, depression, upset, anxiety, because you can't consume anymore. You're overstimulated, which is what's happening with the phones. You've got two billion users of social media, I believe. And now the Psychologists are saying there's going to be one billion of them are going to be suffering from some form of psychosis. Whoa, one billion people. And do you think where that's going to take us to the next level when we get further and deeper down this rabbit hole of transhumanism? It's going to go worse, much worse. So find the talents that you have. Discover your consciousness past your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is about 90, 95% of your brain. And your conscious mind in your neocortex, where you have mirror, mirrors, 
new ones, new ones, sorry, which actually help you perceive the world in the way that we do. We're the only species that can do that. Use this part of the brain, which differs us. It makes, we're the guardians of this earth. We're the gardens, guardians of everything. We look after everything, but we're not. We're destroying everything. So discover your own consciousness, what you feel and how you perceive it and whether your perceptions have been blinded by something or somebody and move past that because you're, once you start to move past that, your life takes on a different, different way altogether. So moving past your perceptions, your preconceptions, your perceptions, the, the lies that have been told to you, getting out of the subconscious mind so you don't just walk around in, in, a, in a trans state, in a state that doesn't really make you enjoy your life. Really wake up, wake up. More and more people are waking up. It's brilliant on the internet. I'm seeing more and more people wake up. So I really do hope that you can raise your consciousness be aware of this technology. Don't get stuck on your phone. Don't keep tapping your phone. Don't keep looking at screens all the time. Go out and enjoy other human beings. Connect with other human beings. Connect with yourself, more importantly. Once you connect with yourself, amazing things start to happen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamida.